Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 10th of 2023. Well, it is titled ZTF meets Atlas. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see Comet ZTF that we've been looking at over the last couple of months. And it's now heading back out into the outer solar system and beginning to fade. And we see it here in a telescopic view. Now we see the parts of it that we've been used to seeing, including the greenish color of the coma around the nucleus of the comet and the tail stretching back. Uh, those are stretched back away from the sun being pushed away by the energy of the sun itself. So essentially, when we see a comet, we are seeing material that has been heated by the sun, energized and caused to glow. So it's material that is pushed off of the comet itself when it is heated when it is heated up and it comes in close to the sun. Now a comet a ZTF came close to the sun, uh, cl close to the sun in the, this last month and then closer to the earth earliest this month, giving us its brightest show uh, in the nighttime sky. Now we also see here a second comet and that is Comet Atlas. Now Comet Atlas also made its closest approach to Earth uh, recently in fact on January 29th. It was never really close about half the distance for between Earth and our Sun. So it was never really close to Earth at all. A tremendous number of distance many tens of millions of miles away. Comet ZTF was about twice as close, but still a large distance away, and no danger that either of these comets would ever come close to Earth. Now we can see that Comet Atlas is a much fainter comet, uh, not near as much detail in it, and it's a much fainter. It could be a smaller object, or it could be an older comet, uh, depending on how many passes it's made in. Although these are both long period comets that don't come back very, very often. So it just is not as energized depending on the exact composition of the surface and how much of the material is then expelled out into space. So the more of that material, the brighter the comet is and the more prominent the coma and the tails of the comet become. So these will both continue to uh, fade over the coming months. But here we get to see them together uh, in one view taken uh, one telescopic view from just a few days ago. So that was our picture of the day for February 10th of 2023. It was titled ZTF meets Atlas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.